Wove. We're live. Tess here. Chilton Wove. This is the name of this brand of expensive, exquisite drawing and sketching <coughs> cartridge papier. Hi. So we're just going to wait for some people to populate the room. I thought this was my phone for a minute, but my phone's there. Oh, that really, that really weirded me out then. <laughs> So what the fuck are we recording on? Don't swear, please. We're live. I'm trying to record. Please do not swear. Oh, no, seconds. put it down. Is anyone in the room? Yeah, people are in. They're all saying hello. Hello. Hi. We're live to the nations. Um, so we're going to do uh, some art today for you. Some sketching. We've got <laughs> we've got charcoal pencils uh, priced at one pound. I've never really used charcoal before, but I thought it could be disastrous and therefore fun. I didn't even know you could get charcoal pencils. Yeah. What do they look like? They're oh. super special. Have you I... got sharpening? They're <laughs> <laughs> oh, not even sharp. Do we have a pencil sharpener? Well, yeah, upstairs. Uh, Whereabouts? A bit, a bit like a, an eyeliner sharp at all, like, would it? Have you got one? Yeah. Okay. I'll leave then. But do you want to just explain this? And this is the card for it from the PO box. Oh, am I not opening this yet? Just open it now and read it out, and then we can right. we can crack on with that in a second. Um, right, we wanted to start off. Will Smith says hello. Hello, Will hello. Smith. Hi, Will Smith. Megan, you're gonna have Some, to speak louder. Someone said they like your blue hair. Oh, thanks. Um, so before we crack on with the art. Um, we received a parcel in our PA box a little while ago that we've um, yet to discuss on camera. We have opened it, but um, there was a little card that came with that we have not opened. So let's have a look and see what this is now. Oh, it's so fancy. It says, hello, beautifuls. Oh, wow, there's a lot here. Oh, maybe you shouldn't read it all out then. Maybe it's like personal. It is from... Jen, over brackets, Gilpin or Hart, yes. over brackets. Jennifer. Someone's um, doing another drawing for you when they see you at Drag World. Oh, so that's nice. Someone's doing a drawing for us when they see us at Drag oh, World. Oh, how cute. Oh. Carry on. Who I won't read the whole here? thing out. Huh? You hoovered. I did hoover, I've just got it everywhere. It says, thank you both for all the laughs, shades, and inspiration. I hope these little gifts give you two a fraction of the gazillion smiles you have given me. Oh, Jennifer! That's so kind. People are so kind. There's also a little message in there, but I won't, I won't read all that out. But that's really, really sweet. So Jen, Jen has very kindly sent us this huge box full of stuff. I've, I've taken something out of that already. Yeah, place, we would, so. we would read, like, usually we have, like, a full reaction, but um, we, we had a sneak peek and stuff. I, for example, wore this the other day because I just thought this was the most precious fucking thing, choker. I was like, I have to wear That's it. Really nice. I'm so caked in foundation. Oh, Look at show that. them that! Also, it's too small, so I've got an extension in the form of a safety pin. However, we're just going to go through it a bit so we can see, because that's the only thing I've seen of mine. Um, I took out a um, unicorn hair bubble the other day. Oh, for crying out loud! But, no, each each, each um, little bag is like in a... I'm wearing a little stuff from um, Hot Topic. Like this is yes, a brand from the, the Blackheart one. Oh my god, that's so fucking cute. See, Jennifer, you've gone to far too much effort here because you really personalised this for us, which is just <laughs> leave it in. You fucking leave that in, which is just so cute. You know what, what that will go well with. What? That purple dress. Purple dress. I don't know what purple dress is talking about. This is cool. I, I don't have a purple dress. It's an ear, ear cuffs. I think Megan's trying to make a joke, but maybe we can't talk about it on camera. Yeah. Um, are people saying anything? People um, being sweet. I love these. There's some, yeah, some stuff's, there's some, yeah, some stuff's coming up. I wasn't reading. So, so read it out, Let's Megan. Say if something's good. Please beat the lamp. Beat the lamp? Yeah. Oh my god, I love these. Teen. They're like holographic bows with a star and a moon on them. Look, fucking dinosaur earrings. I should have worn those. We did a dinosaur look the other night. See, we should have just gone through this and not saved it. That's but amazing. That's so cute. Oh my god, I can't, I can't deal with this. Jennifer, you are so precious. Um, oh my god, there's fucking loads. Look, spider clippies. Little spider clipper rooms. Is that was that supposed to be charging the whole time? Yeah. How embarrassing. Oh my god, what is this? Oh it's a pen! Oh I can't. Is it all good, Megan? 
Yeah, it came up as 20%, so yeah, I've just plugged it. I think I'm sorry, but I love tat. Look at all this tat. Wait, oh. Uh, people said about your hair, they like your hair. Novas and uh, also your t-shirt. I had assumed they were talking about Novas because I- Thank you. So there is a book in here called What's Your Poo Telling You? Which, I mean, I don't know how to take that. Bigger, thicker and loaded with facts. Wow. I mean, I'm- oh. I do not have a book. Instead of a book, I have got, um, I believe this is a palette. It says here, Vegan, Cruelty Free and Fabulous Mega Pigment. The Zulu by Juvia's. And there's this gorgeous African lady on the front here. I haven't actually opened this, so let's open this. So you got a really nice palette and I got a book about poo. <laughs> For example, this one tells you about the Chinese star. Synonyms, the Dorito, Iceberg, Glass Shard or Mystery Poo. What the? Shar oh. said that she needs that book, but I don't think she can learn anything from that book. No, it wouldn't tell you anything. We can tell you what your poo means, Shar. We'll have a conversation another time. I might put this in the downstairs toilet. No, don't do that. Why? It would be perfect place for no, it. it encourages people. So this palette has got a slight holographic cover to it, which is really cute. Oh, there's a t-shirt in here. Oh my god, these colours are amazing. <gasps> Oh, that's so cute. Look, it's a pentagram with a face on it. Oh, did you get a t-shirt? I did. I got this. Oh, oh my God, that's very you. Oh, you'll use that for Which looks Have great. a look. Have a look. Who had that palette? Someone had that. So I've seen These someone use that. These sizes are enormous. Oh, my God. Oh, for the love. Oh, Jen. You're too good to us, Jen. Thank you so much for sending us this care package. Oh. Very excited. That palette I'm going to be using. Jen sent this to our PO box so if you'd like to send us any tat then um, there's a address for the PO box in the description below. Thank you so much Jen that's amazing. We have a separate one for letters and for um, physical tassels. Someone sent us some Indonesian snacks that video is going up very soon. We did not, I did not have much fun. I liked these actually. Megan's had most of these. <coughs> and we've only opened, it's been open for what, like 10 minutes? Look out for that video. Okay. That video soon. It's been longer than 10 minutes and I told you to move them. Well, I, d I didn't, I left them for you. So we're going to be doing some art today. So what we do occasionally is we do some sketches or some paintings. Do you get a sharpener? Yeah. Oh yeah. And um, you guys tell us what to draw. So we're both going to do one. We want some um, inspiration, please. I suggested a nice summer's scene, landscape. Maybe a breezy bay. In charcoal. Maybe a nice breezy summer's no, cliff top. I don't think so. With a floaty boat and a beach theme. Something No. nice because of the warm weather. But I'd like some suggestions, please. So Megan, is anyone suggesting? Absolutely. Subjects for us to draw. Something, just fucking give us something quick. We'll oh, um, someone wants you to go to Birmingham. To go to Birmingham? Yeah. Okay, we'll go to Birmingham, we'll make you a deal. If you tell us what to draw. <laughs> um, and then when, once we've drawn Beach. them. Devon Beach. Huh? A Devon Beach. A Devon Specifically Beach. Devon. I wouldn't know what that's that a bit looks specific, like. Specific, but yeah. Not once we're here. Specifically Devon. I wouldn't know what that's that looks like. That's a bit specific, but yeah. Once not, we're here. The, not the, Cornwall. The, can I lean on something? Yeah, I have clean these. But you have clean them. Um, Cat on the Moon, Wedding, a Meadow, the... Uh, an old woman feeding pigeons arsenic in the in the park. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Who suggested that? <laughs> That's horrible. I know, it's gone. Um, I might do the pigeons, lady. Oh, you need to draw someone a birthday cake. It's her birthday, Sophie. Well, happy birthday, Sophie. Happy birthday, but happy birthday, Sophie. Well, happy birthday, Sophie. Happy birthday, but the thing is, once we've done these, we raffle them off to our patrons, <laughs> and the the tiers of patron is the arch druid and cult elders. So we do a little raffle at the end and we send them randomly to some people who follow us on Patreon. Okay, so anything else? Shah did say, draw me back one of your French girls. <laughs> Shah, no one is going to draw you at, at all, full stop. Less so like one of your French girls, because you know what? You can't speak French. Okay, well, I'm going to draw a lady feeding some pigeons. What should I draw? Um... We need a suggestion for Nova, please. Something for her to draw and then we'll send it out. Oh, I've just stabbed myself. Is this actually charcoal? Nothing's coming out. What do you mean nothing's coming out? Nothing came out the end of it. Like when I applied it. Oh, okay. Well, you can't draw. What? Is that the beginning of your drawing? 
just turn it over. Yeah, I got some clear on this one, so I'll turn it over, which is fine. Guys, okay, well I can get started, but you need someone needs to tell Nova what to draw. Get started, but you need someone needs to tell Nova what to draw. Uh, someone's pregnant and they want you to draw a birth scene. Shall birth? I be doing that? Absolutely oh, not. I think I want to draw that as well. Yeah, draw like someone giving birth. I shan't be doing that. You draw the pigeons in the park and I'll draw someone giving birth. Mind you, like if I send this to someone, do they want a picture of someone giving birth? Like on their wall? Because that might be quite visceral. Maybe I'll draw the pigeon lady. Why? Why are giving birth. Nice <laughs> suggestion. To a pigeon? I don't want to draw a, a woman poisoning birds. I might just draw a pigeon lady. Hello. In Anything else? Anything usable? Um, just people saying hello. Oh, okay. Hi, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to do some drawings, but we need suggestions for what to draw. So I think I'm going to draw a pigeon, because someone suggested pigeons. I'm not going to have the pigeon be poisoned. But I'm going to draw like a really fancy pigeon. Cute. Someone said to draw um, River as a K-pop idol. I could, I could do K-pop <gasps> as a K-pop idol. Yeah, I could do that. D well, no, because that's, that's, in, 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 that, that's going into a weird area. I don't like where that's going. But why don't we both just draw a really fancy pigeon? The fanciest pigeon wins. <laughs> We could do that. Yeah, pigeon, start your your wings and may the best pigeon fly. Fancy pigeons. Draw a pigeon and then we'll we'll donate our pigeons. Okay, so I'm happy right. with that suggestion. All right, all right. We got. I what, I don't know what what pigeon looks like. Someone I'm, said hi from South Africa as well. Oh, you're hi. from there. You're from there. I might draw a Nicobar pigeon, which I'm not sure if they're Never. still. I don't know if they're still um, living or if they're extinct. Or is that a Rodriguez solitaire? There's a kind of pigeon closely related to the dodo. Because I like to read about extinct animals. Oh no, Novus is already great. I really have no idea what a pigeon looks like in my head. What the hell? It's gonna be a fancy pigeon. Um... I feel like yours is actually gonna be like a real fancy, like tropical pigeon though. I was thinking of like a pigeon in a hat. <laughs> is, there was this pigeon in Bristol that had like no eye and like, it's like leg was like a claw, like it, like I'm not just a stump. That. So, do you know what's so funny is like we spend so much of our time looking at screens and like on your phone that the idea of holding a pencil it feels quite alien to me right now. Does that sound weird? Yeah. Why? Because uh, I I I like comedy. Huh? <laughs> what? My look shit. It's just like when you actually come down to it, trying to think of what a pigeon looks like. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so how's everyone doing? What's everyone doing with their Monday evening? Are they enjoying? It's, it looks a bit like a dinosaur, I think. You probably can't see it. I feel like we did this once before and the lights. Can you see this on there? No, it's not dark no. enough. Also, this isn't charcoal. No, this is this is not charcoal, this is bullshit. It's just a black pencil. We've been robbed! Mind you, they were a pound, so what what the hell are you gonna do? Where do the legs come out? <laughs> what does a pigeon look like? Yours is not a pigeon, but it is good though. Oh, I've done the little goo goobly gobbly on the wrong side. It's funny, isn't it? Because you spend so bloody long looking at pigeons if you happen to be out in Trafalgar Square but then stopping to kind of you know really look at one I felt like I looked at a it was a tumblr on Instagram recently of just really fancy pigeons like that's just all it was and I didn't know that there was like actually almost like crufts like people get really into breeding these fancy pigeons and some of them look like Pokemon they, they just don't even look really? real they look so weird that is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Fuck off! It looks a bit like a pigeon, doesn't it? Yours is that's not a pigeon, I'm sorry. It is that's a like fancy a, pigeon. A no. Yeah, but you've got to be a bit realistic. Okay, but here's my question. The plumage of the arsehole area, does it go up or does it go down? Normally down, but mine's going up because it's fancy. Oh, I know. It looks like a big, a fancy big fan. 
Oh my god, this is so cute. I'm sorry, but whoever wins this, they're not having it. That looks like a pigeon, doesn't it? Can I, can everyone see? Sort of look, see a bit, a bit. No? Mm -hmm. You can't see it at all. Yeah. I'll draw it darker. Then you'll be able to see it. Oh no, now it comes down to the eyes, which is always frightening. Mine's going to be wearing a monocle. Uh, mine too. <laughs> you can't just copy me. Why? Was that copying? Okay. Oh no, I've ruined it. The eye looks shit. Oh, that's shit, that guy's. That's really shit. So. I mean, Is a light. Huh? I'm talking through the comments. <laughs> what is? That's why I wanted to know what the wooden star is, but it is a light in it. It does light up, it's got light bulbs in it, but it's, um... It was from an old shop display window. They had loads of them and they were throwing them out. So we just I nicked a load of them. There's a huge one in the bedroom, but neither won't let me turn it on because it wastes so much energy. It really does. That's all right. Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass with this challenge. Last time we did this, we drew each other, which obviously is a lot harder, because uh, that's like, you know, you have to actually be able to draw to do that. And Nova's was very good, as in Nova's drawing of me was good. My one of Nova was shocking. But someone still has it in their bedroom. Um, so, so someone wants you to go to Birmingham to tattoo you. Okay. Oh, wow, like, Message us. How, Send how me a message. Birmingham. Birmingham sounds fun. Never been to Birmingham before. Is that where Alison Hammond is from, Birmingham? She's my only reference. Alison Hammond, is that her name? You that know, one the from woman. Big Brother. Yeah, and she presents stuff. She's, you know what I'm talking about. <gasps> Why is it so um, small? Ginger Snap says hi. Hello, Ginger Snap. That's hi, tiny. Ginger Snap. It was going to be bigger. Oh, um, apparently, yeah. someone made a donation. Oh, thank you. Well, um, then you have to see who it is. You've got to scroll back. Um, they, I think they said uh, M Mitch. Mitch? Mitch. Scroll well, back. See if you can do That's it. That's important if someone does that. We need to, we need to say thank you. Because they want their name to be heard. No, she's lost it forever. Yeah, it was. Oh, thank you, Mitch, for your kind donation. But it wasn't for you, it was for Pony's Asshole Race Winnings. <laughs> oh my god! If that's if that's the Mitch who was in the Asshole Race... I haven't got ketchup on my face, that would be really embarrassing if we're live. Have I got anything on my face? Yeah. No. What? <laughs> oh, Mitch was in it, the Asshole Race. Thank you, Mitch. It's me gave you 99 cents. Oh my god, thank you, it's me! Is that all we get Is for your name, is it's me? That's... Hard to know who you are, but thank you so much. That's very kind of you. I don't know what bird this is, but it's fucking adorable. You can see that, right? Mm. Who doesn't want that on their bedroom wall? I'm sorry. That's so sweet. Novus is tiny. She's used none of the available space. No, Your art teacher like, would be I'll, fuming with you. I'll fill in some gaps in a minute. Okay. okay. I'm now going to draw a little hat for my bird. Oh, I would have drawn a hat. Mine's got such fine plumage. It doesn't need a hat. Mine's got a hat using plumage from its own ass crack. Wow. Which we can all agree is just very inventive. Apparently it looks very chicken run. I don't think it does, but I'll take it. It's meant to be a pigeon. Yeah, I know, but as we've all discovered, like, we can't really draw pigeons. I feel like mine's not a million miles away from a pigeon. I think it looks closer than yours does. Mine looks like a fancy... What the hell is with the thighs? Can we please show this to people? Oh. Look at the thighs. Look at those like rugby player thighs. How? Why? He's wearing trousers. No, oh no. I'm why, sorry. Why is he wearing clothes? He's in a suit. Because he's, he's fancy. fancy. He's got a monocle. Well, mine has got a fine feathered hat. But um, I feel like she's going to need something else as well. Maybe a little purse. I want some pearls. Oh my god, this is going to be great. 
a nice necklace situation going on. Gorgeous. I don't know what to draw in the background. Also, I haven't said, but for the patrons, when we put them in the lottery, for whoever wins this, they're also going to receive this squidgy dinosaur. Well, so the place where we buy all our, ch our cheap sh shit from, um, we also, they used to sell these squidgy bananas and I was obsessed with them. Is there one under there? <gasps> there it is. It's dirty as you like, because it's quite sticky. Oh. But basically, I just love this banana, it's so cute. So I thought, well, I'll send whoever wins the pigeon one of these bananas too, but they didn't have any. But they did have these little cute dinosaurs, look at it! So you're gonna get one of these. I don't know who it is. No, I'm sorry, but my pigeon is so... Someone wants to know where you got your t-shirt from. Who, me? Me? Uh, a little river. Mine is from Killstar. I think I wore this in a Wendigo Solutions. It might have been the other day. I considered, like, is that weird to wear the same t-shirt? But I'm going to wear it because I really like it. It's from Killstar. Thank you very much for your <coughs> kind words. Okay, I'm really happy with this. How's yours coming? Oh, you built, you're doing a landscape? It's got a mansion. Something of a... It looks more like a sort of council building. It's like a sort a of mansion. That's a weird mansion. Oh, I see what you're working with. Don't know if I care for for it personally, I just burped and really sorry. That's because you'll never have the taste level of somebody who is fancy. Now, do you, did you do art at school? Yes. Uh, for what, like A level? Yes. And what did you get? A B. You Where did you get your t-shirt from? CK Maxx. Uh, are you going to do another come dine with me Were you video visit? Huh? I come... Well... We did do a Come Dine With Me uh, video where we had our, our new friends round that were on the episode with us, but... They all got too pissed and they, didn't want to use the video. Yeah, the footage, we had to dump the footage <coughs> because like they are respected people. Uh, mish Mish donated you money, five dollars. Who? Mish Mish? Yeah. Oh, hello Mish Mish! Thank you! Thank you so much for being here and sending us a kind donation. I love doing these. I feel like this is going a lot better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Some nice shading. What are you up to today, Mish Mish? That's an interesting name. Maybe we're not saying it right. How is it spelled? Like M I S H. Twice. Yeah. Okay. Mish Mish. This is going very well. Mind you, they're very really feathery. Maybe I'll add some... Oh, that five, oh, Canadian dollars, I think, from David Hay. Hello, David Hay! Thank you, Canadian dollars. Hey, David Hay! Oh, sorry. Thank you for your Canadian dollars. I'd like to come to Canada. Do you know what, earlier on, you know when you find yourself on Wikipedia... Killstar. Yeah, Killstar. You know when you find yourself on Wikipedia, like, looking at... Just random shit that like I was I was reading about the gross domestic product of Canada. Right. And you know, I learnt that Canada is a very industrious economy. Did you find out why um the Prime Minister had to stand down? What? No. Justin. Justin Trudeau? Did he stand down? Yeah. When did that happen? Is that a recent development? Or yeah, not? like the last month or two. Oh no, it is a go. Probably more recent than that. I don't know about that, I'm sorry, but then again, I'm not very politically mm. minded. Nova's the politician. He stood down. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't think that's right, Megan. I think it is. I'm I really think I've seen him this. doing his speech, being like, oh, I'm going to stand down. But, and he was like, I don't want to, but I'm go I've got to. So I wonder why that is. Five he was so euros. From. Niam? <laughs> is it From Niam? Niam. 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 Niamh. 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 <laughs> is it N-I-A-M-H? Yeah. Niamh. 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 Okay, so when Megan read your name, Thank Niamh. Thank you, Sayo Bahan. Thank you, Niamh. <laughs> when Megan read your name, she went... My apologies. <laughs> she like knew she was going to say it wrong. That would make sense, though, because Niamh is Irish. It's an Irish name, right? Uh, I think so. Like Maeve. Yeah. Or is that Welsh? 
Well, thank you for your generous donation. Thank you for being here. If you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these gorgeous... No, I'm sorry. Do you not think this is really cute, Megan? Yeah. Mine has a limo and a mansion. Well, mine is cute, as you like. Yes, then you have to be one of the arch monocle, druid he's got a monocle. or cult elder patrons on our Patreon. Um, and you can <laughs> receive one of these. Pri I mean, it's priceless. I feel like you don't press down hard enough, though. What do you mean? Oh. I feel like you press down too hard. No, I don't. I just have conviction in my work. I feel like she needs something else. I'm going to give her a tiny purse. So this neighbours looks like a rooster. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but you need to Google fancy pigeon breeds and some of them look crazy. Mine is a Nicobar pigeon, which I believe you might find on, in where? Madagascar, something like that? Let me just move that up. No, it is a real one. I like to research extinct animals. I think it's just something <laughs> to do with me being into dinosaurs. And I like to research the dodo, and the dodo has a, 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 a fairly close relative that's still alive. I think it's a Nicobar pigeon, but it might be a Rodriguez solitaire. I don't know, I've said that now twice, but the more you know, quite honestly. Uh, I don't really know what else to put on this. I like the one that's like, um, it's a bit like a crocodile. What, bird? No, extinct. A bit like a crocodile? Yeah. And it like used to come out and go back in. I don't know, maybe it was on that dinosaur thing the other day. Oh, a Kulasukus. <laughs> Might be it, yeah. That was, yeah, and we watched it on Walking with Dinosaurs. And it crawled out. Oh, and it was really slow and sluggish. So. Absolutely precious. Are there any um, of the patrons of the cult in the room? Are there any people, sometimes there are people, I feel like it's rare that they actually catch themselves winning. Although, I think one person once was watching when they won. If anyone's waiting with bait and oh, The most clever name donated 27.99 euros. Oh my goodness. That's... The most clever name? Did they have I a message with that? That they're going to see you in Drag World. Oh my god! Oh my god, what? We are Thank you at Drag World. Thank you so much for your kind donation. You Thank you very, very much. Let us know. Who the bloody hell you are? Because to be frank, all we're doing at Drag World is just fucking around. Like we're gonna go and like you know we're gonna like vlog it because like you know kids do that like vlog vlog stuff. But oh, you finished just signing it. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're going to be fannying around quite a lot. So you come and bloody find us. That doesn't really look like much like a purse. It looks more like a weight, but. And that'll do. Okay, I'm almost done. I feel like it just needs a little extra though. She's Who's got going hand. with you two to Drag World? Charmaine's, um, going, isn't she? Charmaine's going with us, and Misha's also going. She's not travelling with us, but we're going to meet her there. Falola's going. Falola's going. Rougie's going. Rougie? Um, love Rougie. Gorgeous. Love, love her. Going. I think this is finished now, you guys. Can you see it? Mmm. What is that in the corner? Which corner? Up here. I left. tried to put like a little nest in the tree, but it just it didn't really work. Oh. It's supposed to be like a little bird's nest. Yeah. It's very good. A fine feathered friend. Uh, someone asked where Drag World is. It's at Olympia in London. I can't wait to get there and literally find the first sign that says Olympia. I'm just going to stand by it and demand photographs. Oh shit. Um, when is it? August 17th, 18th? <laughs> something like that. What? Charmaine just said something. There's some guy obviously he has a thing for um, Nova. <laughs> just last night, you two were dating, was like, Nova's way too hot for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so rude! <laughs> Which is funny because you Not were always the slutty one. No, but he is a side <laughs> um, the, the, Well, yes, that is true, that is correct, but I used to be much more attractive. But I have n nil interest in maintaining my appearance anymore because <laughs> I really love booze. So I'd like to introduce to you Patricia of the Winds. <laughs> She's got a lovely purse. Oh, do we need to name them? Uh, well, if you were an original, you would have named them. 
Patricia of the Winds. She's got a lovely purse, which is a uh, uh, Hermes, and she's got a nice pearl uh, necklace and a fancy hat and a lovely plumage. And I'm going to be very happy to set her forth. Uh, I'm going to call him. We should deliver these via carrier pigeon. How fucking cute would that be? So let's just remind you that charcoal pencils can be blended. Oh yeah. I think these yeah. ones are a bit shit. These are these are quite shit. It, it has blended a little bit, but it just sort of looks a bit sweaty now. No, I like Patricia. Oh, they, don't, they don't really blend these ones. These are probably not. Yeah, they're not. I th I'm, honestly, I think they're just black pencils that um, someone has just, they've just like they've marked really, them as charcoal, but they're not hardly blended at all. So it's time to do the raffle. I'm going to go first. I still need to a name. He doesn't need one. He's no, not important. Not important. That's really rude. Um, okay. So, um, um, what does he look like? He's fancy. Ernest. No. Um, Patrice. No. Oh, that's too close to Molly. I think I've just got an affinity for names that begin with P. Um, Earl. Earl and Earl. Whilst you're Sharon. thinking, sh it's a lady. No, it's a boy. It's a fine gentleman Named with a Sharon. masculine version of the name Sharon. Yes. Penelope came up twice. Huh? Penelope? That's Penelope. a girl's name. Right, but you have called him Sharon. Okay, so <laughs> here we <laughs> The winner of Patricia of the Winds. I'm sorry, I did just burp and it does not look very good. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'd like to apologise. I'm not comfortable that We'll have to hairspray these just to fix them just in case they do I want to smudge out a bit in transport. I did wonder if that was a thing. The winner of Patricia of the Winds is Nigel Barr. Congratulations, Nigel. Congratulations, Nigel. Patricia's on her way to you. Right, what about my wife? All right. Oh, and also, you're also the new owner of this gorgeous squidgy dinosaur. And, Nova, the winner of Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> the masculine bastard. form. The male form is Jonathan Campbell. Congratulations, Congratulations, Jonathan. Congratulations, Jonathan Campbell. I don't know if either of you are in this stream, but we'll be in touch to let you know that you won. And you are the winners. We've got their addresses, haven't we? We've got your so addresses. We'll send, we'll send them your way. These gorgeous, gooey dinosaurs, look really good which do look a little bit like Kulasukas's, Megan's new favourite dinosaur. We'll take the price sticker off. I'll swap it for my banana. Oh, these look great. This one's not got a, a price sticker on it, but we'll take it off this one, eh? Cause. Anyway, Yay, congratulations. So on the Novinfia channel this week, we've got a, a snack box video. We're going to be eating, or well, we already have done, Indonesian snacks, which was kind of like good. Where are those crackers? Which ones? The cheese ones? No, the chocolate ones. Oh, I don't know. We'll find them afterwards. Those ones. So no. sorry about those. that. No. And there's also something of a parody moment coming at the end of this week as well, which will be very, very tasty for you. As always, thank you for coming to the Novin Pia oh, channel. Exactly. You've been working with that for a while, that one. I know. Well, it's a lot. People will see. It's been, it's taken a while for a certain reason. Um, if you'd like to be in the raffle for the artwork, then join us over on <laughs> patreon.com slash and find our social media down below. Thank you to everyone who's donated to us today. Yes, thank you. And for otherwise coming and spending your Monday evening with us, Puffins. It's been beautiful. Thank you so much. Are thank you, you guys. Oh, I thought you were only doing one of those sweets again. Don't worry, Derek. Um, they don't hate you. No, Derek. Why you'll, would we hate Derek? Derek will win the next one. Because he thought that you were friends. I was... Because he thought that you were friends and not together. Oh. I was saying that you were hot, oh, and then he was like, a bit like, oh, Hands sorry. off. I am the hot one, though. Hands off. That grade A meat is off the market. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thanks, guys. Okay, we're going to go then now. Bye. Bye.